Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how I managed to get this old needle gauge out of a car gauge cluster to work, seeing as it's an analog and I'm getting it to work with an Arduino which only works with digital. So let's go ahead and get started. So this all started when I was browsing around on the Arduino forums and came across a post of someone that was trying to figure out how to make one of these old air core gauges work with an Arduino. While I was watching the video from that person that commented, I remembered that I actually had some of these gauges left over from a project I did years ago, and I had never used them for anything. So I figured I'd pull them out and see if I could figure out how to make them work. Now, one of them still had the wires on it from the last time I tried to make them work, but unfortunately at that time, I didn't know enough about electronics to be able to get it working again. So I was hoping this time I could get this thing working and be able to use it for a project. So after I took them apart and looked at it, I had a basic idea of how they worked, but I wasn't 100% sure. So my next idea was to hook them up to my power supply and test each of the pins. And I found out the pins directly opposite each other on there were the ones that were connected together. So once I figured out how they were hooked up, I was able to draw a little diagram of how the coils were connected to each other. So this is the diagram I drew for the four pin gauge motor. And as you can see, it looks basically just the same as a bipolar stepper motor. And this is the diagram for the three pin one. And as you can see, the two coils are connected to a common ground there, which makes it so that these needles can only move in about a 90 degree arc. So the next step was to pull out the Arduino and my breadboard and start getting everything hooked up. Uh, initially, I connected it directly to the Arduino to try and drive it straight from the Arduino. And that was probably not the best idea because the Arduino can't supply a lot of current. This was my initial attempt at the code for it. I was basically going off of the code that I've used previously for normal stepper motors, thinking that somehow this was going to make it work. And I had a feeling in the back of my head that this probably wasn't gonna work, but I was determined to try and make this work anyway because sometimes I'm just stubborn like that. Once I had finished downloading the code to the Arduino, it was time to hook up the power supply, turn it up to five volts, and see what happened. And as you can see, uh, it, it kind of worked. Not really. There wasn't enough current going through it to make the needle do much. And I have a feeling it was partially my code. So the next thing to do was to get a motor driver chip or an H-bridge chip and so I had to go to the box of IC chips and dig around in here till I was able to find one of my L293H bridge driver ICs. And luckily I still had a few of them in there. And just in case you're curious, here is the part number of the chips that I have so that you can find them. The next thing to do was to get that wired up to the Arduino and then get the gauge motor wired up to the H-Bridge. And just in case you are following along or interested on how to hook that up, here is a diagram that I was able to find. This is exactly how I hooked it up and this is actually a bipolar stepper motor they've got here which hooks up exactly the same way that these four pin gauge motors do as well which was nice. So I got that all plugged in, loaded the code on it, and this this was the result. Uh, it, it's definitely moving now, but it is still not really uh, acting like a gauge should and probably is not going to show you much useful information. So it's time to go back to the drawing board. So for this code, I didn't want to have to write it over again, so I actually did some math and calculated what I needed as far as the PWM frequencies to make the gauge run smoothly. So what you're seeing here is the equation for each of the four pins and you can see the PWM drops on the first pin as the second pin starts, then as the second pin drops the third pin starts and same for the fourth pin. So the next thing to do was to take these equations and plug them into my code and see if it would work to drive the motor. And this is what I ended up using for the code. As you can see here, I am just entering the equations into my code, but this is 
all of the code that I needed to run this thing. And as you can see, that lower function there is actually the function that is driving it and making it work. So luckily, it actually didn't take a lot of code to make this work, at least not with the way I'm doing it here. Initially, it took a lot more code, so I was happy that I was able to reduce it with this. Once I got that loaded onto the Arduino, turned the power on, it magically worked. As you can see in the video here, I was actually able to get it to do a sweep and it's doing about a 270 degree-ish arc there. You could make it spin all the way around if you wanted to, but I was just going for a more or less normal gauge arc with this. And so that's what I was able to achieve with this code. And this sweep is actually taking an input from zero to 1023. So once I had it working on the sweep, the next thing to do was to add a potentiometer so I could adjust the input value and see if I could get the gauge to represent that value at least somewhat accurately on the actual gauge motor itself. And if this is a project that you have been trying to do as well, you are more than welcome to take my code and use it for your project as well. I couldn't find very much online as far as the code to make these work or how to even make them work. So once I figured this out, I knew I had to share it so that if you guys were trying to do the same thing, at least you were able to find my video and find some code to be able to make the gauge work for you. The only downside is I haven't quite got the code working for the three pin motor yet. So that is still in the works and is still coming. Once I figure that out though, I will make another video and release the code for you guys so you can use that. And here it is with the code uploaded to the Arduino. As you can see, as I twist the potentiometer, the gauge follows along with it as well. And like I said, the, the code that I have uses the value from zero to 1023 because that is the range at which the Arduino reads on its analog inputs from zero to five volts. And of course, I couldn't end the video without at least putting a gauge face on there because, you know, this is a gauge motor. So here it is with the gauge face and it is doing that beautiful 270 degree arc Paper was kind of getting in the way though, so that's why it looks like it's sticking. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to know more about these little air core um, gauges, leave it in the comments below. Let me know. And if you guys want to, I'd be happy to do another video on them, how to control them or run them. Or if you have any other questions or just have a quick question, just leave it in the comments below and I will try and answer it as best I can. But thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more of this content. And we'll see you guys in the next video.